<laughs> if you've been watching my videos, my recent videos, you'll have seen that I was going to explain to you and show you how I'm going to fix this. You've probably been racking your brain on how's Joe going to fix that without putting a block in there and wedging something in there and putting this back up. Now, I didn't do this, and that's something that I'm going to show you in the few next videos. But first, before that, I'm going to show you the proper way to install a grab bar first. And I'm going to use a little goodie that I found at the store that if you can't find grab bar backing, what to do about it. And after you watch those, you might have some sort of idea how Joe is going to fix this one. Coming up. Now I've got a grab bar here that I've got to fix. Let me show you. Somebody tried to install this. They got it mounted up here on the left hand side, but on the right hand side, look what they did. They made a little boo-boo, didn't they? And fortunately for me, this does not go all the way through. If this had this have been cut just a little bit bigger and had it gone all the way through, I'd be screwed basically for fixing this. But I'm going to try to put something behind there and get it sucked up tight to the wall and get it fixed right in the same location. How am I going to do that? That's what this video is all about. Fixing this grab bar so we don't have to put a patch here. We don't have to put a block of wood here. We don't have to tape, top, skim, sand, prime, paint, and all that. We're going to get this mounted right there. Hmm. Think about it. How would you fix that? Now, if you saw the other video that showed how to install a grab bar without any grab bar backing, you might have an idea what I'm going to use. I'm going to use that same thing. I'm going to use this right here. And it's an anchor system for this grab bar. But first things first, I've got to pull this off and this piece of trim. See, there's a trim cover that snaps off. So I've got to unsnap this one and pull that off. And I know this is right in the center of this hole. So I'm not going to have to do much measuring. So I've got to pop this off. And there's some little tongs on here. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit and see how to pull that off without goobering up the surrounding sheetrock wall. This might be kind of tricky in itself. I look on this one here and there's some little prongs that are kind of bending down the metal in three different spots and then that snaps on over a certain area. I'm going to have to turn that and see where, where I can pop this off. Okay, I'm going to work on that and get right back to you. <laughs> 